Hi everyone, this is Caroline Wabara and today I'll be showing you how I usually segment my uh, leads, buyers and blog subscribers into different groups using just one mailing list. And I'll be showing you the tools that I use to do this autopilot automatically and why I do this. So today I'll be the tool I usually use is Mailchimp. Uh, it's my go-to email marketing software. I've been using it for the past five years now. And recently I discovered the importance of a feature on Mailchimp called Groups. Why I I decided to use one mailing list is because I discovered recently that. Um, in the past, I used to use uh, multiple lists, build multiple lists on MailChimp. And in the process of doing that, a lot of my subscribers would still subscribe to more into more of those lists. And I was still paying more for the duplicate email addresses. And But with these groups, I was able to solve that problem. So I will show you exactly how I optimize. I, um, use just one master list and send segment all my email subscribers into different lists. Now, as you can see here, I decided to delete all, almost all of my lists. I had up to 10 lists in the past, so I deleted them and decided to use just one master list. So I imported all of my subscribers into one. So this is my master list, which has about 1,331 subscribers. And I'll be showing you exactly how I do that. So once I click on the list, you get to see all my lists. Everyone is on one master list here. But what I use to segment them is groups. So I use groups to segment them into different uh, categories. So for instance, when people come to my site to make inquiry about my services, I put them under a different group, but it's still the same mailing list, but I put them on um, into different groups. So such as for the ones from my contact form, I put them in the lead form field. So this is where they fall into. Then for my training programs, for instance, so for my training page, I also put them under another group in the same uh, mailing list. So I put them under the live training. Now each of these groups have what we call and so I when I click on the live training group you get to see I separated them. So I created more groups under underneath each uh, major group. So you see the one for digital marketing training, social media training, SEO training, and more. So these are the people. Then for those who have completed my training, I created another uh, group against sub list, which is where I stack them to as soon as they finish my training. So I don't get to. So the reason for this is so that I don't get to send the same email to those who have already uh, made payment or attended my course in the past. So I don't get to send, keep sending them the same email. So that's the importance of this uh groups so now i'm going to show you the exact the tools the exact tools i use to manage my groups my go-to tool is ninja forms so the forms you see on my site are created using ninja forms so this is my uh, go-to form ninja forms and the tool for adding them to the different groups is called the ninja forms mailchimp this is an add-on so in order to use this, you need to visit their site to purchase this add-on. So it doesn't cost much. It's, you only pay yearly for the add-on. So this is what I use. Now, when I want to make them, how does this work? For instance, first things first, in order for you to do, make sure, make sure you, you've created your MailChimp uh, list already and you already have your subscribers already be added. The next thing you need to do is to create groups. Click on the create group 
and make sure you select the don't show this group on my sign up form. You need to make it private because some groups on your list could be paid and you don't want them to add it to your paid group, especially when you are running your automation, automated campaign or workflow. So let's say, for instance, uh, uh, we're creating something like, um, say, speaking or coaching coaching session now underneath this i can now put it for create stuff like completed coaching next not completed okay and the other one could be um uh, uh in queue people who are in queue for my service so this is how it's done and then next you click on save and that's it so you now have your group then next you can create the form the next is to create the ninja form so i go to the form field and click on all forms it's quite easy to create. So these are the, all the forms I already have that are already being connected with my the groups on my MailChimp list. I can decide to create. So what I will do is to click on add a new form, so I can create another form called um, for the group coaching session, which I already have on my list. So I can click on, I can select the ones already being created here. So let's say this is the form I need to use. The next thing I need to do is click on the email and action. And next is to click on the MailChimp. So this is it. Now the next thing you need to do is click on this to refresh the list. You need to add it like twice just to be sure and then select. So now this is it. So next you need to add the names, tag the names so that when people fill the form on your site, their details will be added to your mail checklist so i click on the first name for email i select this to add the email and then for the phone number as you may already have a phone number and the email i click on this to add the phone number so you can choose to add the last name company name if it's important can do that. The next is the groups that I said. So this ninja forms allows you to add them to the various groups on your site or it's your most important group. So you can see completed coaching, not completed in queue. So I can select the not completed or in queue. No, I can put the in queue for now. So that's it. And once you're done, you click on done and click publish and you have your form. So you click on this to close. Then select the short code to save on your landing page so you can add the short code to your landing page by clicking on the edit page to place the short code so once that is done that's it so this really helps me so that i can send by this once people now fill the form on my site they get tagged to the right group and i can choose to send them 
if I've already created like an automation automated workflow uh, on the Mailchimp uh, dashboard, for instance, those people in those people that we attack to the various groups, we get to get the right uh, email being sent to them. So that I don't send the wrong email to the wrong people. I send the right ones to the wrong people. So this is very important when doing your email marketing campaign. You don't need to create too many multiple lists. Just one list is enough. Then the rest you can create and tag your subscribers to the right group, depending on what and how they signed up for your offering or for your course. Another plugin again I use is the um, is what I call the opt-in cart. So it's a pop-up form for my um, landing page. Let's say I want to, people to sign up to download my free course. So I can make a pop-up form. This opt-in cart helps you to create pop-up forms, uh, two-step opt-in forms. So people can, so you can see here, I have the exit intent pop-up form. So in case people want to leave my website without signing up, the form gets to show up and then they sign up and the email gets added to the right uh, um, group. So as you can see here, this is another landing page for people who want to download my free ebook toolkit. So in order to sign up, all the users click on this button and this is their two-step opt-in form the opt-in cart, that's how it works. So they get added to it and this is the, the form. So this is like a two-step, this is also the exit intent pop-up form as well. When people are about to leave my site, they get added to this, uh, the group and once they are added to the group on my list, the automated workflow is now sent to them on autopilot. So it's really helpful if you want to send the right email to the right uh, people on your list. So you can see it here. All you need to do is add the MailChimp, your email marketing provider, then select the list and then select the interest group where you want them to be tagged to so they can start receiving the right emails from you. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Um, if you need more training uh, on any of my courses, you can visit carolinewabara.com to learn more about the things, my SEO training, my digital marketing training, and my social media training. Until then, happy email marketing.